a familiar sight for residents of Ashmore as the current water lines are nearly 70 years old and well past their final days. Today was a fine example of that as the village was gearing up for its water line replacement project by potholing to find the actual water lines. But since the current lines are so fragile, the machinery went right through and caused a main break. So now the day is spent in front of homes like this, with homeowners like David Huffman left to stand outside and watch as the water lines get a temporary fix. We lost like 200 and some thousand gallons of water on the one that was out here by Richie's Furniture. Uh, but they're just increasing. The cast lines are old. The system was put in in the 50s and just constantly just giving us headaches. But soon those headaches will be gone as the village has been awarded a $500,000 grant to replace the old metal lines with bigger and more flexible plastic ones. A change that residents like Hoffman are glad to see as the water overall has caused some problems. It's a good thing. I wish they'd spend some money on the water treatment. Sometimes our water doesn't taste the greatest out here, but it's, I mean, you know, they're doing what they can with what they got. Crail says the lines are usually fixed while the water system is live, but when it reaches a certain pressure and must be shut off, then that's when a boil order is issued. As far as the permanent fix, well, Crail says as long as main breaks like today don't keep happening, then the line replacement should be done by the end of May. But in the meantime, Huffman is actually getting the most out of it, especially on warmer days like today. I love it. You know, I, I've worked in heating and air conditioning, and I was a boiler tech in the Navy and, and been around all this kind of stuff and worked on it. So it doesn't bother me, you know. <laughs> I think it's, it's all right. You know, I enjoy watching them work. <laughs>